welcome back guys so in this session we will see uh, something related to the api testing so we already had a discussion on what is exactly an api and why uh, we are more focusing towards the api development nowadays because it is more helpful to interact with uh, multiple applications so that's why the apis are becoming more popular so now because the development is more happening towards the api so the uh, validation or the testing of the api makes it more important for the qa folks right just to know more about that so today we will see how we can set up and or configure a fake json server because uh, i do not have a proper setup of a api uh, what do you call because it is mostly backend so we need to create or set up a uh, fake json server um, and for the api testing and then we will uh, we will even see how we can authenticate that in the upcoming sessions because authentication is necessary because of the security because if it is more public then multiple persons or even outsiders can tap into that and play with the data okay so this fake json server which we will be uh, seeing today will be helpful for the crud operation like a create and then we can edit that and we can update that or we can even delete those uh, api uh, entries okay so let's get started with that so uh, i have this uh, uh, what do you call open source uh, json server so this is from the take diaries so i felt this is a good one to get started with so here if you see tech diary given a good documentation as well so what you need to do you need to first uh, clone this particular code base and after that what you need to do you need to do an npm install because this is a node program so this install will basically install all the uh, libraries that are there inside the package.json okay so these dependencies it will install there okay once you are done with that then you have to run only a single command that is npm run start auth and this start auth is coming from this package.json as you can see here so this will in turn call the server.js this will execute that by using the node command and then uh, we are ready to access those api servers from here okay so uh, so let's see how we can set up okay so let's create a directory let's name it as api and then let's move into this sorry api and then i will clone this particular github repository git clone and then this should clone and for this uh, like to open this code base i can use the visual studio code so let me open the visual studio code and i will say file open and open that folder so api and here is the folder so now this is how the code base looks like so as you can see here the users are there so these users are basically the authentication as i was telling that even this fake is uh, json server api will give you an authentication to get into the data as well so you can add the credentials here whatever you want or you can take the existing credentials like the email and the password to do the crud operations okay so th there is a server.js which is dealing with um, uh, what do you call this json server with the different status uh, and the console logs and everything and then this is the readme which we just saw and then the actual database is under here so as you can see this is the api data so as we know already that all the apis are whatever we are doing the end result is the json so json actually the json file is actually helping both different softwares to interact each other okay so that's what uh, we are going to do the crud operation actually on this data actually so we can create an entry like let's say that i can create an entry uh, like i can add a product i can delete a product i can update something from this uh, like name cost quantity whatever it is there okay so this kind of stuff we can do from here okay so let's see how this works first okay so here i will open my terminal and here let's follow the um, 
document whatever it is written because first thing is that i need to install so for this npm command uh, so you need to install the node.js so you can download from the google uh, respective with your uh, windows or mac operating system you are using so once you do npm install it will install all the libraries or the dependencies that are there under this okay so everything is there now here as you can see into the readme what it is telling once you're done with that uh, then you need to run the one command this npm run start auth so this will basically run your server locally okay so this should now uh, use the port 8000 so here you can see so it is using the 8000 so what we can do we can go to the terminal i mean we can go to the browser and we can say that uh, localhost colon 8000 okay so as you can see the api uh, whatever the api server is there the json server that is fetching here so here we can see all the details i mean at this moment we won't get anything because uh, we didn't authorize ourselves because for uh, for an example let's say that this is products right if i do so i will get an error message by saying status 401 message error in authorization format because i did not authenticate that so for authorization you can see the document here what they have written so you have to first uh, authenticate yourself like uh, like in ui we are logging in ourselves right so the same thing here first you need to do like uh, http auth login with this particular parameters with this following data so with with this browser actually i cannot log in so i have to use some kind of tool to kind of do the authentication and everything we will use the postman so postman is a open source tool which you can install freely and you can use so it's the postman tool is basically helpful for develop developing and testing the api endpoints okay so we will see more into the details in the upcoming sessions but today i will just give you an idea of um, uh, how we can authenticate and then how we can see the json data so for that what i will do i will open the postman okay so uh, so something like this the postman looks like so here what i can do i can create a new collection and i will name it as fake underscore json and then here i will add one more request and for now let's do a post call because so as you can see in this document we need to do a post call to get authenticated ourselves okay so for that i will say post and i will put it inside this and then so select here as post call and save this one so as you can see the url should be so i can copy that url from here so here you can see products instead of products what we need to do so let's see the documentation again here it says this whole so i can directly copy paste this one okay in the body i will give so i can copy directly from here so this is basically this data is coming from the users.json okay so any of the credentials you can use that so here you can click on raw and you can click on this or else here even you can choose the json format also and then if i do a send call so here you can see you will get a access token so this access token you will use in another get call so what i will do i'll create a get call so add request and i will say get so come to get and here what i will do i will say authorization so in the header authorization and here i will say bearer so bearer and so this is the format actually authorization and this one okay and then we need to give the so here so this is what we are logging in actually and this is where actually we are getting the call so getting the products right so products 
so now as you can see the data here you can see everything so whatever the data you have seen inside this database.json the same thing we are seeing in the postman also i mean we will see more into the details in the upcoming session but i just wanted to show you how this authentication is happening by using this particular code base okay so in upcoming sessions we will use this one uh, this particular code base so every time we will run the code by using the npm run start auth and then we will log into the so our endpoint would be this one always okay so on this particular endpoint we will use kind of uh, what you call the create or delete or update any data so hope this is helpful so you can take it as a practice download the code or clone the code and then open it in visual studio code and just uh, do this much of operation kind of a get started stuff and then we'll go ahead with the other stuff into the postman okay so Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming sessions.